Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's session, we'll see how to set up Azure Active Directory application proxy and under what scenario we can use this service. Now, if you're an organization in which you have certain internal application and you still want to give access to those apps externally to maybe users who are working remotely, you know that you have to deploy maybe expensive VPN setup or buy firewall hardware and manage different roles. And in today's day and age, when we are moving towards hybrid workforce and in certain cases, people, they are working 100% remote, there might be a better way of accessing these application. And that is where Azure Active Directory application proxy will come into play. With application proxy, you don't need to deploy any VPN or firewall hardware. You don't have to manage any role. You can give access to the applications by just deploying a small connector, which is a lightweight agent in your on-prem environment. And then the users can also bring their own devices and can access those application. And without you have to compromise on the security. You can still enable multi-factor authentication, single sign-on or have conditional access policy in place all by using Azure Active Directory. Thus advantage you get by utilizing this service. The only thing I want to point out here is that the licensing prerequisite, you need to have a premium one or premium two license of Azure Active Directory. If you have maybe EMS or enterprise mobility security suite, E3 or E5, you already have that license. Or even if you have the business premium license from Microsoft, Azure AD premium one or premium two license comes with that. But hope at least it gives you an idea of under what scenario we can use Azure Active Directory application proxy. So let me just show you what setup I have for the demo purpose. So I already have on-prem environment. In this environment, I already have an application running. So let me just show you. And this is enabled just to be used internally. So if I go and type in my application name, you can see that it's just a basic application which can, I can access it internally. And just to prove a point, let me just copy this URL. And let me try to access this remotely. Uh, remotely means from outside the network. And you can see that I get the error. I'm not able to access this application because that's the way this is configured. Until unless I am within the uh, corporate network, I should not be able to access my application, right? So that is where your Azure AD application proxy will come into play, which will involve a small agent or connector, which I've already deployed, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And that is how this is what it will enable to access your application externally. So let me just go back to my application. And just for the sake of time, what I've done is uh, I've already installed that agent. So if I go under my application server, you can see that uh, your proxy connector server is already installed, right? So all these things in place and installation is pretty straightforward. And I'm going to show you where you can download this file from. So let me go and flip over to the Azure portal. And to search for this service, you need to go to Azure Active Directory. And from the left side of the blade, you will see that I have application proxy. And when you're doing it for the first time, you will see that you don't have any agent. Since I have already installed, this agent status is in active state and installing the agent is straightforward. You're going to just download the agent from here, right, by clicking on download connector service and they just follow the prompts. The only thing I will say that for this service to run, you need to have TLS 1.2 enabled on your machine. So whether you're using server 2012, so say for example, let me just go and click on this. If you're using server 2012 or 2 or 2016, maybe you need to have TLS 1.2 enabled on your machine. Other than that, you just need to accept the licensing and uh, just follow the prompts and install this agent. Now, if you have multiple applications, you can also group these agents. 
So you can have uh, multiple agents installed. So that's uh, always a possibility. Now in our case, we only have one application and uh, the agent is installed for you. So let me just close this here. Now let's go and configure this on-prem application. So I'm going to go and click on add uh, configure on-prem app. And the first step is to give a name for this application. So I'm going to name it say Ingram Micro. And the internal URL is the URL that I have configured for my on-prem application. So let me just go and uh, paste this here. And you can see that it will generate an external URL for you automatically, right? Now you have this option of uh, pointing it to your custom domain if you want, so that can be done. But you can see that by default, it will generate an external URL for you. Now for pre-authentication, in our case, we are using Azure Active Directory, but if you want to use, you can also use pass-through, but the most common scenario for this one is to use Azure Active Directory authentication, right? Now your connector group is default. Now you can also do more settings over here, but we want to keep this simple, right? But you can also configure single sign-on, conditional access, all those can be utilized because it is part of your Azure AD Premium 1 or Premium 2 option. So let me just go and click on the Add button here. So we got the green check mark that our application was configured successfully. So let me just go back uh, to the Azure Active Directory. And if I go under Enterprise Applications, you can see our application is there within this tab, right? So let me just go and expand this. Uh, because yes, we have uh, successfully configured the application, right? But we have not assigned which users will be able to access that. So for that in the manage, I'm going to users and groups. And let me go add users and groups here. Uh, you can give this access to the whole group or to a specific users. In this case, I'm going to give this say, for example, for testing purpose to the user with the name user three. Now, if you have and in most of the cases you're going to do that, you uh, you have on-prem users and you want to give, you can do maybe AD Connect and sync those users from your on-prem Active Directory. So that can be done too. So for testing purpose, what I'm doing is that uh, I'm uh, giving access to the user with the name user three over here, right? So let me just go to the application proxy now. And I'm going to grab the external URL from here and let's see if I'm able to access this application now externally. So let's go and open the tab here. Okay, so it is asking me for the user credential, which I'm going to provide now, which is of user three. And here we go. I can access this application from my local device, as you can see, right? Without having to configure VPN or uh, conf configuring any firewall rules, I'm able to access. And as I mentioned initially, you can also set this up with single sign-on. You can have multi-factor authentication, conditional access policy, all those in place, because that is all part of your Azure Active Directory. And as I mentioned, you need to have a P1 or P2 license. But this gives you an idea about how you can utilize Azure Active Directory application proxy for protecting and accessing your application, which are only confined for your corporate network users.